Good evening, Gracerton. Say good evening and welcome to Friends of the Feather. Okay. She's not participating this evening. She doesn't know what to say. So welcome everyone to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're following along at home, I do greatly apologize for the gap in videos. Had a rough night, had a rough morning, couldn't do it. So here we are this evening with some updates. So, the Faverles, the Faberles, the fabulous Faberles, the flying trapeze chickens. As you can see, something is different about the Faberles. What is it? They're alone. Yes, they are. I had to segregate them, had to pull them out, had to wee -oo, wee -oo, call the Ambalam with a little Black Betty playing in the background. And uh, yeah, we had to pull them out. And this is because of this. Let's see if they'll, uh, let's see if they'll cooperate. They're, they're very skittish, so sometimes they run away. But if you look closely, you can see their poor little tootsies. Well, it's the other side of her leg that's really tore up. And this one, and see the problem is that th those that actually looks incredibly better than it did yesterday. Yesterday it was very red and bloody and bad looking. There was also some things that I noticed with JG, like right here behind his beard feathers. There's a, you got a glimpse of it right there. There's some redness back behind the the uh, the fluff feathers on his face, where I think they were pecking at his neck or her neck so I pulled him out um, did a, did, called seal team six and had him do an emergency extraction um, and uh, yeah so here they are now <clears throat> what the hell am I going to do with these chickens now I, I don't know <laughs> I don't know what to do with them I love them I love them I love them they're so awesome look at how beautiful they are Aren't they just the most beautiful chickens? And now, since I've put them, especially Marie, I just love Marie's beard. I love the gray, the dark gray. That's my color. Oh, a little charcoal going on. Charcoal Marie. I love her. And I just don't want to get rid of them, but I can't. Okay. I can support two coops. I do not want to support two coops. Big differences. I, but I don't want to get rid of the chickens. So, some some uh, some things need to be considered, and I I, I have a, I have a, a home ready for them that is welcoming with open arms. It's actually a place that has some of the other Faberlays from this hatch. It's uh it's actually a uh, the the hatchlings from these same birds. So it, it, it would be like sending them back home to their family if, if chickens thought that way. Um, the person who has the other Faverlays from the same batch that I got um, said that theirs are very skittish too. So I don't know if, if anyone is familiar. Yeah, I heard that too, chickens. It sounded like an explosion off in the distance. Or maybe just a very, very, very big gun. It's... It's scary when things like that happen around here because I live in the Chemical Valley. Like DuPont is seriously about uh, a mile away from my house. And um, when 9-11 happened, there was a rumor going around my high, around my town, I don't know if this is true, that um, this area was in like the top, <laughs> the top 20 list for possible sites for a, a not so good people from other countries <laughs> attack. So... Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but there's a lot of chemical plants along the, okay, I think someone's like doing target practice or maybe like sighting their gun in or something. I think that's a gun, but, um, there's, there, there's a lot of chemical plants up and down the river here. And so I worry when I hear explosions and we have odd sirens that go off from time to time because, uh. Yeah, there's a lot of industry here and, you know, lots of talk of of uh, bad things happening because of that. So, 
it's always a little nerve-wracking anyway so um, with the Favrils the home that I have for them is very welcoming definitely wants them if I decide to get rid of them I honestly that's probably what's going to have it and I, I don't know what else to do with them I I have I have other plans I mean I can do this, but I don't really want to do this for them. I, I mean, it doesn't bother me to do it, but um, their, uh, you know, what's their quality of life going to be in this little tiny enclosure? I don't know. I can't get another run together for them. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Give me your thoughts in the comments. What do you think? Keep the fab fab fabulous Faberlays, or, or should I rid myself of this? worrisome, troublesome priest. Should I get rid of the Faberoles or should I keep the Faberoles? I don't know. I just don't know. And, and, okay, here's another thing. So, when I was assessing the chickens, right, because I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on, because Marie kept hiding under the nesting boxes, and that was bothering me. So I went in there, and I, like, because nobody else was in the was in the hen house, and everybody, and they were, like, still hiding, and I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? So I pulled her out, extracted her, literally. She was, like, very hard in the corner. So I pulled her out and was, like, just trying to get her to fluff up a bit. Like, trying to cheer her up, I guess. And um, I noticed her feet. And I was just like, oh, crap. So I immediately grabbed her and pulled her out. And then I, I ended up, I needed to get everything together. And I didn't have anywhere else to put her. So I put her back in for just a very short time. And grabbed her and JG out and put them in out here. Um, and uh, yeah, the bloody feet were, it was pretty, pretty gruesome. I mean, it was, it was pretty bad. I felt guilty that I hadn't caught it earlier, but they were so skittish. I thought that they were just hiding and they were, they were staying in the, the box that everyone favors. And I think it was making the other chickens mad. I think if they would have tried to stand up for themselves a little bit, and if they would have, like, uh, just got out of everyone's way when they wanted that box, I think they probably would have been okay. But, um, it didn't work out that way. So, we have the Favrils over here now. Um, and other news, I do think, <laughs> I think that all my button quails are male. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I'm pretty sure that they're all male because while I was trying to extract her, I was just kind of standing and observing and kind of blocking the spot where she had been hiding to kind of figure out why she wasn't coming out of there. And while I was standing here being very still and very quiet, they all started making this little like pee, 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 pee noise, right? That's my best impersonation of it too, by the way. Um, and one of them started doing it and then they all started doing it and i was just like you have got to be kidding me because all of the videos that i've watched that is a male button quail that's their call and i'm just like <sighs> there was there there may be one that is not male but we are now past six weeks and we have no eggs um they seem happy and healthy Plenty of food, plenty of water, so um, I think they're male. I think they're all male. So I don't know what to do with them now because they're possibly all male. But I don't know. We'll have to see. It's really beautiful though. This little gray one is so pretty. Such a pretty little bird. Focus in on it, please. Please, please, please focus in. The gray and the brown, how it meshes in there. They're beautiful, beautiful little birds. But I'll tell you, they're they're hard to handle. They're hard to deal with. They uh they they're very squirmy and slick and yeah, they are they are built for speed. Ha <laughs> uh, Yeah. Yep, cute little birds. Alright, so Again, we're going to wait a couple more weeks, and we're on egg watch. We're going to see if we get some button quail eggs. I doubt it, again, because I swear that's the male button quail call, and I heard it from at least four to five of them. I, I'm pretty positive it was five. 
and there's one that I'm not sure, but they they chirped off several times, and there were multiple chirps happening at one time, so, yeah, jury's going to remain out on that. We'll take a look one more time for some eggs. We got six eggs yesterday. First time we've hit six in one day. Those are all fakers. Got nothing in there, nothing in there, another faker, yep. <clears throat> that sucks. Only five today. But look at this giant, these like giant divots that, that's Faddle that does that. They come in here, the big, the big girls, Falco, Faddle, and um, sometimes like Laddie will come in with them. They'll come in here and they'll, they'll dust in here and they'll fluff up the, fluff up all the, all of the stuff in here. It's really gross though. Look at that. It's just nasty. And I think someone actually laid an egg on the roost because this yellow has been streaming down the wall for a while now. But, um, yeah, this is a, 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 a filth hole. It's a, it's a filthy chicken hole, but that's okay. That's okay. Because filthy chicken holes produce really, really, really tasty and healthy and good eggs. So I'm all right with it. I just thoroughly wash. Trust me. I'm not, I'm not, uh, icky like that. Not icky like that. I, uh, I do practice good hygiene. I promise. So... We're alive. Everything's good. Again, it was a rough evening, rough morning. Just didn't feel like doing it. Going to be brutally honest. And uh, so I didn't. Took a break. So I hope everybody's well. Thank you to our 142, I think it was, subscribers. You guys were growing in such leaps and bounds. Thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate that. Like, I, I have so many plans. I really do. And... I love doing this. Like, I have found my passion. And so every subscriber, every single person that hits that subscribe button gets us closer to a 1,000 subscribers, which means that we can monetize. And that means that we might get a little bit back for what we're doing, and it would help me expand my operation in a much rapid, much rap, rap, muy rapido pace. So I don't speak Spanish at all. So that was really lame. Anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, so thank you very much. I really, really appreciate that. If you haven't done so already, please join the club. Um, it's free. There's no charge. I promise. We never, we don't pull any tricks on you. Um, and uh, yeah, everyone uh, have a great day. Thank you. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.